Alrighty, fellas and fellettes, welcome back to the Hot Damn Racing Team, and if you're new here, welcome. Alright, I wanted to do live videos, but right now, downloading a live video is not that good. I think it's kind of congested right now, and uh, it takes forever for it to download. So I'm kind of getting away from the live real quick until it doesn't take so long to download a live video. Sometimes they're not even uh, downloading or they're really choppy, all right? And I don't want them to be super choppy, okay? So uh, there's a lot of people downloading videos nowadays, all right? Okay, so uh, right, uh, we've been working on the uh, oil return system, basically the hot side or the rear side of the turbo system, all right, from this part back. And then we're going to run the lines for the feed and the return. But anyway, speed controller. All right. My last speed controller I had on here, basically, if you put the key powered on, all right, the motor comes on. And if you wanted to turn it off, you'd have to turn this switch all around, turn it off. And uh, this one really couldn't handle the amperage and kept shutting itself off with the internal safety shut off. So I needed to get another one, but I wanted a, uh, I only want, I was only using that one for demonstration anyway. This one that I have here, all right, this speed controller is always in the on position. That means if you disconnect it from the power and connect power to it, it'll come on. It'll always be on. So if you ever want to have the pump off when you're sitting there in your key in the accessory position, all right, you can come over and hit the switch and it'll turn it off. All right. Now, if you take the key and you go turn it back to off or pull the key out, put it back in and put it to accessories, the pump will turn back on automatically. So it doesn't matter if you have it off. All right. If you take power away from it and put power to it, it automatically turns back on. So if I hit the switch there to turn it off, when I have it in a run, let's say I'm doing something, working on the motor, and then I want to be like, hey, buddy, start it up, and I, you know, I forget to turn the pump back on. Well, when you put it into the run mode, right, the start mode, I'm sorry, in start mode, your accessories, the power gets uh, shut off, right? So everything's focused to the uh, starter, all right? When that happens, power shuts off to this, and then when every, all your accessories come back on after the start mode, the motor will come on, all right, until you shut that off again. So really cool uh, speed controller, all right? And uh, let's say if I go turn the key on, you know, I won't have to hit the switch at all. I'll never have to mess with this. It'll always be on the on unless I want the motor off, all right? So I can set it to what I want. I have it at 47%, I guess. Right now, it just makes it kind of run smooth without splashing all over the place here. This, this pump can pump, but I don't think that I'm going to need to have it on full blast. It's just, it's just crazy, but we will find out how much we will need, all right, or where it's going to need to be at. But here's a demonstration on pump power. I mean, it can get it. We're only 62. If I wanted to get rid of gallons and gallons of oil, I could do it. And here it's just getting it. it, it it's just probably unnecessary. Yeah, it's really getting it. So, yeah, no problem with the pump ski power there. Demonstration. I think 47 is pretty good. Runs smooth, runs consistently. All right. So it'll always be set at this unless you turn the dial. It doesn't matter if you turn it on and off here. If you took the key in, uh, you know, out and put it back in, it's always going to go into the on position. Hope you understand what I'm getting at. All right, so this thing here, I like to get the oil, let it suck it out, and stop. All right, so it doesn't fill up. Perfect. Nothing's going to come backwards. All right, yep, that's it right there. Better speed controller. I'll have that all set up wherever I, I feel like is going to be uh, sufficient. I don't have to look at it, so it can be hidden if I want it to be. Just something to where I could control the speed to uh, whatever scavenge pump, oil scavenge pump I have. All right, because it doesn't need to be full blast. Full blast all the time probably be loud and unnecessary, all right? So... It's also another pump I'm gonna get eventually. It's gonna be a lot quieter, a whole lot quieter. 
and a whole lot better, hopefully, we'll see. Um, better as in being quiet, lasting longer, all right, and just being more efficient, better built altogether. That's what I mean. This one right here will do the job, all right? I'm not worried about this one not doing the job. It cranks, cranks the oil, does what it needs to do. All right, hot damn, that's what I wanted to show you on this one right here. Just kind of uh, moving along on this, all right? I'm going to get the oil uh, pressure sensor fitting that goes here and then just get a little oil pressure sensor. Basically, when the pump's going, the little kit, it has a light. The light will go out when you have pressure. All right, and uh, so that's gonna work out. I might get a little clear tubing so that we can see the uh, uh, oil going through there. All right, and it's not just gonna be any kind of clear tubing. This tubing uh, can handle the, uh, what do you call that, the stress that all this is gonna go through, right, heat and whatever, and pressure. So uh, hopefully not too much pressure on this side, to be honest. Pressure's on this side, so my tubing's gonna go over here. Basically, it's a glass tube. Um, it's gonna have 10 AN fittings on it, and we should be able to see oil, whatever, if I'm gonna have exhaust coming through there that I don't want, like the system pulls the exhaust through the turbo. We'll see, we'll see how it is. But anyway, the speed controller, uh, they're about uh, 10 bucks eBay, you know, basically, uh, just looking for a controller that uh, can handle the amperage, all right? And that's always in the on position. It means when you plug power to it, it just turns on until you turn it off. That's what you want, all right? And that makes it kind of give you the little safety deal. Say you want the power on. A lot of people are working on your vehicle. Maybe you have it in the accessories. You're doing something, looking, you know, messing with your lights. Who knows? And you don't want this thing draining your battery, all right? You just cut it off. If you forget to turn it back on, doesn't matter. When you go start the vehicle, it'll just turn on by itself, all right? Because power is going to get cut to that when it's in start mode. All right, hot damn hell yeah. All right, until the next one, y'all are badass. Hope you have a good week, and uh, hopefully I can get some parts in sooner or later. We'll see how it goes. Hot damn.